Yo people, watch this. The flacket is officially back. Okay, so I won't be around the bush people. At the moment, I believe this is only possible to do on moles. But hey, watch the video, suss out how this works, and you might just figure out how you can do this on non moles vault hunters. How's it going, guys? My name's DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also, guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands every week. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so this information was given to me by Jake, who was also kind enough to allow me to use his account to bring this information to you people. If you guys would like to go show him some love and appreciation, his Twitter and Instagram are linked within the video description. Okay, so the flak hair within the latest hotfix was nerfed. The main nerf which pissed most people off was the fact it now only has one shot within its magazine. Yeah, the damage nerf was kind of expected because the thing was absolutely ridiculous, but giving this thing one in the mag led to many people throwing it away or storing it within their banks until further notice. Well guys, if you play moles or think you can achieve this on any other Vault Hunter, I'm pretty sure you will be using that flacker yet again. So for this to work, you need a certain few items which I will explain how each works towards this build. And this build basically allows the flacker to go full auto, no reloading, spamming all over the place. Ridiculous. So firstly and obviously you need a flacker. What kind doesn't matter as long as you have one. Then you need any weapon which damages yourself. These are real easy to find and most weapons offering elemental damage effects or splash damage effects can damage the user. Within this guide I will be using the Hornet. You also then need to have a shield and on it you need the added benefits of either adrenaline, trigger happy or fleet. If you can get one with more than one of these, even better. Now these are quite common so you moles out there may have one already. The class mod here though is a must, the blood letter. This is what you need to make this truly work. This as you can see, if moles would be healed, she gains shields instead. If she would regenerate health, she also gains shield regeneration. This is kind of how this works and I'll explain it in a second. The artifact isn't a must but the mod it offers kind of helps and that's the health regeneration. The plus 148 health per second really does help this out. Now you can get health regen on the class mod here if you are lucky enough. But health regeneration is definitely a plus. So how this works is as follows. If we have a look at the shield plus 10% fire rate while shield is depleted and plus 23% reload speed while shield is depleted. So what we are doing here is taking those shields off ourselves. That's where the Hornet for instance here is needed. Shooting the floor right next to you damages you. Again, you can use any weapon which damages you to do this. So if we start shooting the floor and eventually take off our shield, you will notice the corrosive damage effects you have done to yourself once your shield is depleted will continue trying to take your health and shield off. But because of the blood letter class mod granting health and shield at a crazy rate with the artifact 2, you get a constant loop of losing your shield and then regenerating it. And what this is indeed doing is stacking the benefits of the shield we are using here with its reload speed and fire rate. Because every time you lose and regen your shield, these benefits keep stacking. And because it's happening numerous times within a few seconds, it allows us to achieve what seemingly looks like a full auto flacker, when in fact it actually isn't. It's just the game has stacked the reload and fire rate so much, it just looks that way, which is just utter craziness, people. Now, because this actually stacks both fire rate and reload speed, I indeed have a feeling this may do crazy things to other weapons, which I have tested out, and you guys can expect that video later, and let me tell you guys, it is 100% truly game breaking. So yeah, at the moment, as far as I know, this only works on moles, but I will try and figure this out on other Vault Hunters, as I do have a feeling there may be a workaround. So yeah guys, with this method, the Flak is back to his old self, in fact, even better. Now this does work until you either die or I believe fast travel or quit out the game. But it's so easy to replicate, you can do it literally every time you land in a different location. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I really do. If you're new around here and want to see more videos of this kind on Borderlands 3, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell 
button. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, people, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.